Hey guys, it's Tash and today I'm going to be doing a video I was going to do anyway but it's also been rather re requested over the past few months and so here it finally is like I've been promising every single person that has requested it that it will come and it is here and this isn't like a new place that I'm filming it's just my brother's old room, spare bedroom now and I just felt like switching it up a bit and standing for a change and just having a decent backdrop rather than my cluttered walls of fangirlness. Um, any of you that may have followed me on Instagram or have heard me say in my videos or if you know me personally, then take that back because many people that know me personally are unaware of this and haven't even noticed it, which kind of insults me a little bit. But I lost 21 pounds. I was about to say don't ask me how because I don't know, but I do know. This video is me going to tell you how. how I don't know how I mentally did it. I'm just going to tell you that it really is not that hard. Like, here's the main things you need in order to pull this off. Willpower. You need to really get your mind set into losing weight and if you stick with it, it will happen. Like, if you're gonna give up, then just no. Just don't even bother. I somehow managed, um, I think if you give yourself a goal, it is easier to do. I had the goal of losing weight for my cousin's wedding in April and I then after that had the goal to continue before I went to America and so that is why I worked so hard because I really wanted to look good in my tight fitting dress at my cousin's wedding. Diets don't work, don't work. None of that shitty little dieting do stuff, just don't do it. Cutting things out of your diet is not going to work. You are depriving yourself of something which you need and probably want and you're either going to one once you've got to your goal weight you're going to then start eating normally normally but then your body ain't used to that so you're going to gain the weight or you're going to like deprive yourself of mcdonald's and then you're going to snap and you're going to go to mcdonald's and you're going to end up binge eating because you were so deprived of it you've just fed up the whole point is a balanced diet. You're supposed to eat everything and balance it out. Like, don't cut out chocolate, no, no, no. You want chocolate, you're allowed chocolate. Just don't eat it every single day and it's like in excessive amounts. I basically wrote out every single day leading up to America. It was after Easter, so I had Easter eggs. And I evenly split up these Easter eggs, which I would normally say eat half a shell and an inner, so like half of the egg and a cream egg one day, and then the next day I'd eat the other half and the other cream egg. But instead, I was eating like half a shell. Then three or four days later, I'd eat a cream egg. Then three or four days after that, I'd eat the other half. So I'd eat one Easter egg over two weeks, whereas I'd normally eat it over two days. That made a huge difference, and I was spreading it out evenly rather than just being like, oh, chocolate at the weekends, have some at Saturday and Sunday. You spread it out so you're not deprived for it for really long, and you can just be like, yeah, I've got, I'll have another thing in another three days, it's cool. And I've done the same now, I wrote out myself a plan for all the sweets that I bought in America, because I still barely ate any of them, which is good. Tash. You'll have breakfast when you wake up to get your metabolism going and so your body doesn't start storing fat which is what it does because it thinks you're starving so it will store fat. I'm gonna choke. And so you get it started and then just have a small lunch and then have some up for tea and like eat some healthy shit but don't cut out carbs and all that because you want some chips and pizza. Still eat some pizza and one of the biggest things which helped with my spots which i've had a bit of a breakout and you can see i've picked them all because i'm an idiot fizzy drinks i am a lazy bitch i will not make myself a squash in my mind it's too much effort for something which doesn't even taste that great what would i choose taking the time to pour some squash and then putting water in it and making sure it's not too weak or too strong when it doesn't even taste that great or pulling out a bottle 
of orangeade and just pouring it in a glass. Done. I literally lived on orangeade and like three Pepsi a week. So what I did was I completely cut out orangeade. Don't remember the last time I had orange. Oh wait, I do. When I went to Cardiff last week. But that's besides the point because when you like go out, you have your days where you would like probably drink fizzy drinks when you're not meant to or eat chocolate when you're not meant to. But you, you're going to get those days. That's fine. That's not going to make much of a difference. I just stopped drinking fizzy drinks and my mum makes me up a bottle of squash like in a big bottle so that I just then take and just pour into a glass throughout the day and she always keeps it topped up. And the fact that it's water helps my spots and the fact that I'm not drinking fizzy drinks helps my spots. Of course, like I said, it's not doing so great at the moment but it did make a difference. If you watched my old videos, you would see the difference it made throughout the time of me cutting out fizzy drinks. And I have one Pepsi a week now and that will be on a Saturday night. Other than of course when I go out for a meal and have a Pepsi or I go out with my friends and have a Pepsi but that's, that's besides the point. Like I said, you're gonna get those days that you will have it when you're not meant to but you, you, it's fine, it's fine. And I exercised. I actually exercised. Now I start and try to do things like Zumba on my Xbox and my Wii Fit but I get bored of that and I hate having to turn on the TV all the time. So I started looking up workouts on YouTube which are easy because they're free and you can just turn on your computer, you're on YouTube and you just do a little workout and you can choose what you want to do, whether you want to do a 5 minute or a 10 minute or you want to do a full on like half an hour workout and what kind of thing you want to work on. So I will leave in the description every single video that I used throughout my time of losing weight and they're like it's a mixture of like ab workouts and cardio workouts and leg workouts and yeah just have a go at them do it and you just gotta keep at it you just gotta remember in your mind just take 10 minutes out of your day in the morning like if you shower in the mornings before you have a shower just wake up do an exercise wakes you up and then get in the shower and you're sorted you know i was even doing it when i had work that day and normally i'm funny about that i'm like i have work today i ain't doing shit since I've been back from America, I did the 30 day ab and squat challenge, which I finished now. Oh my god, hallelujah. They are awful, and you go through every day, this many days, and you do them. The squat challenges constantly change. You get rest days, so as you get rest days, which is good. The squat ones change so it can be like, it'll start at like 10, then it'll be like, 50, then one day it'll be 119, and the next day it'll be 50, and then it'll be 40. But the ab challenge gets worse, and worse, and worse. So it starts off as a measly little five sit-ups, and five crou crunch crouches, crunches, and a 12 second plank. And then before you know it, when you're on day 30, you've got to do a two minute plank, and you're doing bloody 190 crunches and 175 sit-ups. I'd wake up, put on vampire diaries, and just bloody work this shit. The crunches were just... I weighed 162 pounds at the start of this whole thing. It's the heaviest weight I have ever been in my entire life. I used to weigh around 135 to 139 pounds, which is 9 stone 9 to 9 stone. 13. So this was the way I weighed around the ages of 14 to 17. I was constantly yo-yoing between those weights, going from like 134 all the way up to 142. Like I would manage to lose like three pounds at the most and that would be it. The last I knew is I went down to 134 pounds, nine stone eight before I went to Spain in 2011, July 2011. And of course it's all inclusive, eat as much as you want. And like it's a holiday so I pick out and eat loads and I get back and I'm like yeah there's no way I'm weighing myself and then on down here I went and then in December 2012 I weighed 160 pounds so in just 18 months I managed to gain 28 pounds which is dead on two stone 160 pounds is what it's 11 stone six so it's pretty much 11 and a half stone. So I went from 9 and a half stone to 11 and a half stone. Wait, no, 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 no. I was wrong, I gained 26 pounds. I almost gained two stone. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just realized that I was doing maths wrong because of... The reason why I got confused is because 
then a year later, my heaviest weight in December 2013 was 162 pounds. So I was 11 stone 8, which was the 28 pounds. That's why I'm getting confused because I gained two stone altogether. Oh my god, this thing has a hole in it. The I feel like this video is all over the place. If it is, I apologise. Like, I'm trying to talk about one thing and then another. Like, I have to tell you the history of my weight and how I'm losing it and fabulous. And I'm pissed off because my bloody kimono thing from Primark has a hole in it. But, like, do I take it back or do I just sew it up? Like, that, like, what the fuck? I feel like I'm on drugs or something. <sighs> what was I talking about? shit. So, cut out the fizzy drinks, cut back on chocolate, cut back on snacking, and exercise. That's the main things. And hey, I lost 21 pounds, you can too. And whilst I'm not, like, obese, never have been, there are people who will be unhappy with their weight. And even if you are quite low weight, if you just eat unhealthily and you want to eat better then this is still good feel and also everyone should exercise even if you are perfect weight this is still something that you should do I'm not one for sit talking about healthy eating and exercising because ugh, I'm lazy and I hate vegetables I love fruit but it's just a pain in the ass it's never consistent so like I never really eat it try to live better and um, I think I've covered everything. Oh, before and after, like I haven't, I, I didn't take pictures of my progress. I probably should have. I use lookbooks to compare. I have lookbooks from before I lost the weight and then when I, like after I lost the weight where I'm wearing the same outfits and you can just like compare. And like there's a pair of shorts I own which before were tight around my waist. They were literally fitted to my legs and now they're loose on my legs and they don't, they're not tight on my waist and it's just, it's heaven. I hope this video helped. Like I said, I'll leave the workouts down below and subscribe to my channel because I make fashion videos and I go out in the garden and do things like this. Well, not that exactly, but you know, it's close enough. I will see you on Tuesday. Bye. Ow. I'm not sure if I'm the face of my necklace. Toby out. <gasps>